plant you see here to my right is a Royal Hawaiian Diamond Head Elephant Ear. It's a deep purple color. It grows in full sun. It does need some moisture, but it's a gorgeous and beautiful plant. Maybe because that's the way it grows, or maybe it's because of my secret formula that I will share with you. And I'm not selling anything. There's not going to be a promotion for that. That's not my purpose. I just enjoy making videos, and it gives me a purpose, and it fills some of my time in retirement. Let me give a shout out to Avon Gardens. They are a plant supplier in Avon, Indiana. I'll put the address on the screen. But again, I'm not being paid or promoted by them. I don't even know the people that own the place. I just went there on a shopping trip. And I happened to run across this particular elephant ear. I've been looking for one similar. And uh, they had it in stock. It was around $20. I purchased it this spring. It literally came in a three inch by three inch pot this plant has developed this much in just one season of growth. I attribute the success of the plant partially due to the plant itself, but mostly due to the fertilizer that I've created. Now, to be honest, this isn't the actual size of the plant, so let me bring it to real size and then tell you about the fertilizer. This is more realistic, and obviously the plant is still pretty healthy and pretty good size. This leaf is 19 inches across and 26 inches in height, 27. It's a beautiful plant. The leaves kind of have a, a waxy, shiny look to them. In the background, you might see I have just a standard, traditional elephant ear. That's 37 inches in the width. 27 inches. So here's my secret brew. It is common items that you can purchase in your local grocery store. It's not expensive. And the mixing rate, the mixing rate is approximately three tablespoons per two gallons of water. And with this particular plant, you're going to need to water it regularly. It does love water. It also loves sun. But you also don't want to saturate it and sit in stagnant water. Although it can grow at a pond's edge, something like that. So what I do is basically mix up the two gallon container and I just give it a little bit each day. So depending on the weather, once I mix in my three tablespoons and two gallons of water, I may give the plant a fourth of a gallon per day. So it's just a simple walk by, pour a little bit of it in. I don't necessarily feed it every day. Maybe it's three out of five then I'll use the mixture. And I will also adjust the amount, either down a little bit, maybe up a little bit, depending on how healthy the leaves look. So, so far I've done an excellent job. But actually this formula goes beyond that. I have some plants I want to show you that have done amazingly well. All of these plants I bought in the spring. And if you don't think that the plants themselves speak for this fertilizer, Let's check out my lawn and the flowers. I applied the fertilizer about three days ago, prior to this video being taken. So you can see the grass does look healthy. These petunias benefited because they were by the elephant ear, so I started also using it on these petunias, and they're doing very well. This plant here is called Sun Patience. It's a variety of impatience that does well in both sun and shade. These get the morning sun, they are very low maintenance. They just like water. I do not fertilize them often, but I have used the fertilizer on it just maybe once every two weeks at most. This is the petunias that we bought this past spring and it's now August. They are still blooming. In addition to that, I've got a pot over here to the right. They look like miniature petunias. I'm not sure what they're really called, but again, brought them in the spring. They're still blooming. The most amazing one of all is this container of pansies. We bought this in the very early spring with Boiler Dan's home brewed fertilizer. This plant has bloomed all summer, even in 95 degree heat, setting in direct sunlight. It has continued to bloom and we are now in the middle of August. To me, that is amazing. I've never known pansies to last much more than the late spring or at best midsummer. I've told you how much to use. 
but now I need to give you a list of the products and what the mixing rates are. That's in a separate video. It's because I use this same fertilizer on my lawn. So I'm gonna put a link on screen and at the description box where you can go to my other video. It's gonna be about 10 minutes long. It will give you a detailed list of the products used and the amounts of each one that I use. That all takes place in my very secret lab. And again, there's no sales pitch here.